the symbol they fought for, the American flag. It is so revered, it must be treated with care and respect at all times, even when it's time to retire the flag. Jenny Dean found a local veterans funeral home that gives both veterans and our flag the final honor they deserve. Came straight out of boot camp and was sent to the Persian Gulf. He loved to bring a Marine. Jill Wagner talks about her son, Daniel, who died in 1994 after serving his country. He was only 26, and he was following in the footsteps of his stepdad, Harley. A proud Marine, and he was a fighter. He fought through so many health adversities. Harley died last year, and that's when Jill found veterans funeral care in Clearwater. These are families of veterans, and these are people that love the flag. They love America. About 10 years ago, General Manager Blair Creever says they had an abundance of retired flags that needed to be disposed. The proper way to dispose of a flag is either to bury it or to burn it. So they came up with the idea to place a flag with every veteran. I'm holding the certificate that holds the star from the flag that was cremated with my husband. So again, we're honoring the veteran, we're honoring the flag in a dignified manner, and we're honoring the family by giving them a memento that was with dad or mom whenever they were cremated. That memento means everything to Jill because the flag means so much to her entire family. All veterans need to be honored. All veterans need to be honored. Dignity and honor for both the veteran and the flag they fought for in their final moments. Veterans Funeral Care really is a special place. They actually have a military museum that's free and open to the public. They have different uniforms on display, some books and some maps and letters, lots of cool stuff. But the stories they tell, so many stories from people that are part of the history that makes our country what it is today. And they also have a collection box for those old retired flags, and they're always in need of more flags to keep that program going. Jenny Dean, 10 News.